So this is just a quick uh, tip tutorial and um, I basically work in a kind of user interface design and the problem um, I constantly have is how to animate text from like regular to bold smoothly and uh, it's always been a problem and you can't really um, there doesn't seem to be like a direct way of doing it in After Effects but I came up with kind of a cheat method to do it so um, I'm just gonna create a quick project and I'm just gonna write some text here say uh, quick VFX and um, I'm actually gonna get rid of uh, all caps and um, I'm gonna choose something quite elegant maybe that it's automatically set to bold so I'm just gonna get rid of that uh, so it's regular right now and the bold looks like this so if we try and um, as you can see obviously we can't set any keyframes here and then if we look at source text um, we've got all these options but we haven't got anything for a uh, regular to bold here and uh, see more options nope so I mean one way you can do it is basically just have two layers uh, one regular and then one bold and then you can kind of fade between the two but that can be kind of uh, cumbersome sometimes you just want to have a simple solution just on the kind of layer itself without having to duplicate it and all that so what I do is basically um, I'm just going to set this to black I just go to uh, layer styles and I add a stroke as you can see and uh, if we just go to the stroke options so layer style stroke um, I change the size to like one pixels or however large you need it just make sure it's set to outside and then I just add like a dark gray on the outer uh, for the stroke color and then what I do is I just kind of animate the opacity so if you look at it now it looks like it's kind of animating from regular to bold so that's uh, basically my method and let's just compare that to the actual bold uh, text so I'm just going to duplicate that layer just get rid of all the layer styles and set that second layer to a uh, bold and let me just adjust the letter spacing to try and get close to it so there's a bit of a difference but maybe if I set my stroke to 3 it's not too far off uh, you start to get some kind of rounding around the edges but um, it's kind of like a quick cheat if uh, precision isn't a factor so um, I hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching